Snowboard for me started when I went to Mount Bake and saw all the older kids going, and I rented a 122 Crazy Banana, and I was in grade 8. And the next year I bought a Look Bump Stick, and I wanted a Kemper Rampage, and she couldn't afford it. And before you knew it, I was going to Whistler every weekend, and from there I went to the dark side. I found a whole new lifestyle, a whole new kind of uh, way of existing, and met a lot of cool people, and uh, ultimately it's uh, been a great thing. As snowboarding's evolved for me, I've got a little bit more involved in the industry and I've had great opportunities at West Beach um, to help out with some of the marketing stuff and give input with product design, which is always super interesting. And the coolest thing about the snowboard industry is that it's youth-led, so I mean the young people of the industry and at any company really matter and are listened to. I started with Alterna Action through some of my sponsors back in the day and New Carlo just from around uh, the larger kind of network of snowboard people. And that kind of has uh, led to a lot of years of uh, working with Carlo and Alterna Action. I think the thing I like most about my part this year is it kind of reflects the season. The first uh, 20 seconds is just riding powder, no air, not too many tricks, and then it goes into some tricks. And to me, uh, kind of reflects the, the way I, I feel about the snowboard season. It's not just trick, trick, trick. It's, you know, some successes, some triumphs, and some failures. So. Snowboarding's all about fun. Always will be about fun and never forget that. If you learn to snowboard or trying to make a life out of it, make sure you're having a good time and everything else will follow. Welcome back to 969, I'm Chris Van Vliet. Now coming up in a segment we like to call Rapid Fire, we're putting John Cartwright on the hot seat, he rides for West Beach, and we're gonna be firing as many questions at him as we can in the time of just one minute. Questions like, if you were a flower, which one would you be? I don't think we actually ask him that, but check it out. I'm John Cartwright and this is Rapid Fire. Last time you gave a girl your number? She never called me. Last thing you bought that you shouldn't have? Probably a gift for somebody that I forgot to give them. Last concert you went to? Bob Dylan last night. He should be playing in Vegas. Boo. Last book you read? Let my people go surfing about Patagonia outerwear. Last song you download on your iPod? I don't download music. I just steal it from friends. Last time you felt cheated? <laughs> that happens all the time. <laughs> last time you were in the hospital? I was getting uh, 13 stitches taken out of my forehead. Last person you phoned? Uh, my teammate Matt Belzil on the West Beach crew. Last pickup line you used? I never get pickup lines other than, hello, how are you? Last CD you bought? Uh, CD for my dad, Neil Young. Last time snowboarding wasn't fun? Probably last day of the season because we dug and dug and dug and dug and dug and we didn't get a jump. Last time you phoned your mom? Ha, huh. Sunday night to tell her I was going to be leaving Thanksgiving dinner early to go see The Who. Done, diddly done. Hey, check it out. I'm uh, Carla Wine, producer for Alterna Films, and our latest release is in transit. Uh, in transit features a couple of Canadian riders, uh, JF Fortan, Matt Beardmore, John Cartwright, Matt Belzil, Dave Short, and a couple of riders from Europe and the United States. I think In Transit differs a little bit this year from our other films, um, mainly because of this, the uh, production value that we try to add to it, like kind of like Hollywood style production. Um, we use dollies and cables to give it a, li a little different flair, a little different perspective. <laughs> 
you can get uh, our films on our website, alternateactionfilms.com, or you can get it at your local snowboard shop, any core snowboard shop.